Hey everyone! So to revamp your old vases and burnt out candle jars, you're going to need some frosted glass spray paints. You're going to need some Avery color coding labels. Um, I use these to recreate a polka dot effect. You're also going to need some painter's tape in different widths. I used, I think this is about a three inch, um, a half an inch, and then like a quarter of an inch width painter's tape. You're going to want to use some rubber bands. And for this tutorial, I also used some doilies because I wanted to see what kind of effect that would make, like a cool lacy floral effect. Now for my jars, I went ahead and reused uh, my burnt out candles. So once the wax melted all the way to the bottom, I just removed the excess wax um, and cleaned out the the jar and I, I'm also using this old vase that I found at my house um, to recreate a cool looking vase. So for the first thing I'm revamping is the vase. I'm getting the different widths of tape and I'm going to grab the biggest one and wrap it along the bottom of the vase. Now once I wrap this, I'm going to get the half an inch tape and wrap it around. You can create your own design. I'm creating stripes with this, so I'm just using the different widths to create kind of a, a cool pattern with the bases. So now I'm taking the skinniest piece of tape and I'm going to wrap it around a few times, um, like I said, to create a cool pattern. You can be totally creative and do whatever design you, you would like. And there you go. Now for the next one, I'm grabbing one of the smaller candles and I'm taking the little Avery color coding dot and uh, putting it around the entire candle jar to recreate that polka dot effect. Now for this one, I'm taking my rubber bands. I'm gonna use this smaller jar, candle jar, once again, and I'm just gonna wrap the rubber bands randomly around the candle jar. For this one, I'm taking one of the larger empty candle jars, and I'm taking this skinny tape, and I'm just randomly placing it around the jar. Um, there's no rhyme or reason for this. I'm just kind of playing around with different patterns and crisscrossing the tape. So it'll recreate a, a really neat pattern um, once it's done. And for the last one, I'm taking the doilies, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half, as you can see here. I'm then going to tape the doilies um, along the bottom of the candle jar, so it'll create um, what I'm hoping a nice lacy pattern um, around the entire candle jar. And once you've done all this, go ahead and take your frosted glass spray paint, shake it, up, shake it up a little bit before you spray, and do a thin coat along each jar. Thank you. 
Once you're done spray painting um, each jar, you're going to want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry. So now I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the tape, throw it around, and the stickers, and let's see how it turns out. So there you have it. Instead of throwing away your old candle jars, why not recreate it into something new? I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more do-it-yourself videos and thanks so much for watching. Enjoy!